Hey there, guys. Yo, so today I'm going to show you how to use an Xbox 360 controller with the PS1 emulator. Now, when I first tried to do this, um, and I just tried to do it through the emulator itself, I couldn't get it to work. So I'm going to show you what I did in order to get it to work. Um, I used joy to key and I'm gonna show you the website right here it's joy to key.net download this right here um, I'll probably put the link in the description of course and and you just unzip it y'all know how to do that shit you're tech savvy unzip it and then click the exe to start it and run it and and get it to work like that and I already did that part so I'm gonna just show you from there. And from here, you wanna click it, you wanna open it. It's gonna open. And then on this side, they let you make profiles for, you know, whatever. Just, you could just make profiles. So on the left side, right here, click create. Left click create. You can name it whatever. I named mine PSX because that's, you know, that's what I wanna use it for. So whatever. You could put PS1 or whatever. You can name it Cox if you want to. I don't give a fuck. And then on this side right here, on the right side right here, it's going to show the buttons. And they're going to say, fun under function, it's going to say disable because you got you to gotta apply them to a key, right? And if you, if you notice, if you press the buttons on your controller, they highlight. So you know which one is supposed to go to which one. That's the back triggers. I don't know where they are. Oh, there it is. But yeah, that's this is the stick. Obviously, stick to uh, D-pad, face buttons, shoulder buttons, the bumpers or whatever. And uh, before I even start, the controller that I use, I use uh, a wireless controller. And if you want to do that, you got to get one of those wireless dongles, right? And if you do that, make sure you get the official Microsoft one because I bought one before and it was like a knockoff I just I don't even remember why I got it I think it was cheaper or something so I just got it and it worked but it didn't work right like it would constantly disconnect my controller mid game and it was just fucking mad annoying so make sure if you do buy one if you do want to use a wireless controller use the Microsoft one and if not you could just plug a controller in and it should like should you know as soon as you press buttons it should do this and yeah and if not you can you can go to settings click configure joysticks and then like even in here you should be able to see it but under this please select the device click the down arrow and make sure you have x input device connected boom that's x input is like 360 controllers and controllers like that I think like the Steam controller might consi be considered that too so just click that but anyway in your profile you want to you want to assign them to certain buttons and in the PlayStation emulator the the buttons are like this the d-pad or the the control stick is the arrow buttons so stick one you wanna you wanna put like this right and for buttons one two three and four you want to put them like this button one is Z button two is X button three is s button four is D 5 W 6 R 7 C 8 V now these are like the default controls for PSX right it, it should be you can change you can change them in PSX to whatever you want and then change them here accordingly. So you can do that, but you, I'm gonna just leave this up here so y'all can just copy this and you can see what I put as the buttons and it should work for you. So button nine and 10 is disabled. I don't know what that is. I think that's, yeah, that's, that's like L3 and R3, which I don't think the PS1 uses at all. Button 11 and 12 is the back triggers so like l2 is button 11 that's e 
R2 is button 12, that's T. And that's that's all of them. So I'm gonna just leave this here for a couple minutes, or you could pause it or whatever. And then I wanna show you it. I wanna show you it works. And also, with this up, um, it'll move shit around on the computer too, so don't don't go pressing stuff. Like it'll move the arrow keys and stuff on a computer, so you can lower that and then bring up the PlayStation emulator EPS X E. And then let's see, let's let's find a game. Uh, blah, 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 blah. We don't condone piracy, no piracy. Yeah. And all that and all that good stuff, you know. Pay for your games. Go <laughs> off. Um yeah, I don't know. Just pick a random one. Okay. Yeah, I gotta do this and not full screen, so hold up a second. Come down, bitch. Alright. Start your engines for Sony Computer Entertainment America production. Speakers now. Alright, so it's emulation, so like, it depending on what kind of computer you got, some of it is might not run as smooth as others. If you got a good computer, it should be fine, though. No problem. But, I wish I had like a camera, there's no way to tell, like, to show you that I'm actually using my controller. Not my keyboard, but, yeah, okay. Um, I guess you can hear me press the button. Suck at this game. Oh, why did I go to two player? Go back. Oh, oh, the first. I gotta go to arcade. Okay. All right. I used to always pick Coco in this game. That was my favorite character. Relax. All right. Let's see. I'm gonna just play a little bit just to see if all the buttons work. <laughs> I don't know how, how much this lags on my computer. It looks like it's pretty slow. <laughs> but if you got a decent computer, you should be fine. Especially if you got Intel. Oh, uh, Intel CPU. It's pretty responsive. Oh, shit. Oh, that's the camera. Oh, how did you drop stuff? I'm too used to playing uh, Mario Kart. I've been playing a lot of that. I like that game a lot. Bitch. Still a beast. Oh shit. What's up, Tiny? What's up, bitch? I forgot how you do this. Ooh. Ooh, come, beast. Fuck out my way. Fuck out my way. And you, you should be able to play this full screen. I can't right now because I can't do it while I'm recording. It's just not gonna happen. But yeah, this this I mean, I can throw this back. Oh, I can throw that back. Nitro blast. Shit, I cannot do the drift. It's so different from Mario Kart. It's just so funny. Like Mario Kart, they don't hop, so you just go immediately to the slide. Last time I played it though, it was hard as shit. Like, I couldn't get past certain parts. I was struggling like a bitch. It was fucking embarrassing. I had to turn it off. I couldn't do it. Hmm. Look at that. Alright. I can't trip for shit. Alright, so that's pretty much it, man. If you got some questions, just leave them in the comments, I'll answer them. If it's not, if this wasn't clear enough, I'll answer them. Sometimes it's easier to, to read text and do it, get instructions like that. So, just ask, I'll do it. But anyway, we out boys, deuces, stupid. Oh uh, wait, and I almost forgot, if you want to close this thing, you can't, you can't just click the X because it won't actually go away. You have to click file and go down to exit. 
and that'll close all the way. I should probably tell you that, that's probably important, but anyway. We out for the second time. Stupid.